Once we know the distance to the star, then we can determine its energy output per unit time, so-called luminosity, by measuring how bright it appears to be here on Earth and from the known distance to the star. And it's measured in watts, just like the energy output of regular light bulbs. Now, it is common to denote all the quantities pertaining, pertaining to the sun with generic symbol, which in this case is L, but then to specify that it refers to the sun, there is a subscript in the form of a circle with a dot at the center, perhaps uh, symbolizing our uh, solar system with sun at the center. So whenever you see a quantity and an index of this form, that quantity refers to the sun. And it's equal to 4 times 10 to the 26 watts. Now, 4 times 10 to the 26 is like 400 times 10 to the 12 times 10 to the 12. And each factor of 10 to the 12 is basically what is a trillion, right? A million is 10 to the 6, a billion is 10 to the 9, and trillion is... So this is the same energy output as from 4 trillion trillion 100 watt light bulbs. So it's an enormous amount of energy emitted by the sun every second. And keep in mind that the sun is just sort of an average garden variety stars. There are stars that are much more luminous uh, than the sun is. And of course, there are many that are much dimmer than the sun. 